All right, guys, Model Rock 321 here. Welcome back to the channel. Yet we have another build video of the Mini Bertha. The last build video you saw was the Mini Alpha. Thanks to Estes and thanks to a subscriber that mentioned showing the build process. Since these are quick and easy, easy assembly, no painting required, I decided to build it. These require absolutely no glue. But I found with the Alpha, um, the fins like the slide, the retaining the engine retaining clap hold the fins in place so um you don't need glue but when you take that cap off the fins kind of slide a little bit so i will be using a little bit of this plastic cement just to hold them in place when the cap is removed i think it's just a little bit better i see what they try to do and i do like it but i'm gonna go with glue so that's the deal and let's check this build out right now and when you're in here be sure to subscribe to the channel like the video, share the video, and we will go from there. We'll start by showing off the build instructions. I like to look through these really quick. I mean, these kits are very easy, quick, 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 quick. This is all beginner stuff, so should be no issue. Here you have decal sheet, one, two, three, four fins. You have three yellow fins. I believe the rest are black, or one black and two yellow fins. We do, what we got, what we got, what we got? Black fin. Yellow fin, I think it's three yellow fins and one black fin. Yellow body tube, black nose cone, it's all in there, all your parts, shock cord and a streamer. And you got your shock cord mount and these two in the two halves that make up your lower section where your motor will go. So we will get to moving right now. Everything else, it's very similar to the alpha. Yeah, so we're gonna get this going. Um, very simple build. It'll be done in a matter of minutes. Model Rock 321, go ahead and subscribe and let's get this build on. All right, so all the parts are removed. We will begin with step one and that is press fin can halves together. The fin can halves are these two pieces right here. You can tell the threaded side from the top side that will go into the body tube. So push these together. No glue required on this. These are pretty, um, pretty sturdy. So we'll put this together like that. That's good. And that is that piece. So step two will be um, go ahead and do a double knot into what is called the engine, what do they call it, uh, shot cord mount. The shot cord mount is this metal piece right here. This is a brand new piece by Estes. I haven't, in my first time seeing these, I'm not sure if one was in the Mini Bertha or not, but I think the Mini Bertha was more of a build build, like traditionally, you know, fins and everything you had to glue and sand and everything like that i think i think i didn't get the mini bertha but i mean the mini red max mini red max my mistake so we'll double knot this all right we'll double knot this so yeah this is um not a bad build i mean very easy i'm spending more time on this knot than i need to be for some reason today there we go but yeah, SC seem to be going this route with their beginner kits now. I mean, I'm not sure if what's the what's causing it, but they're pretty cool. I guess I, I, I have some respect for a quick and easy build. I'm spending a lot of time on that Saturn 1B right now. So that's this piece. And next you will take this piece and you insert into the hole and rotate. There's a hole on this top part right there and you take this little curved section of this shot cord mount and you insert it in here and you rotate it until it goes up like that and then that's that piece and it sits flat along like parallel with the um, part that's going to go into the body tube so you have that next attach body tube and fin can find the body tube Body tube has these slots. Those go at the bottom because you can see it has notches. That's going to snap into place. That's why you don't need any glue. Like I said, these are new uh, new ways that they're doing these rockets now, especially these mini ones. So you will push this in here, pull the cord out, push it down, and that snapped into place like that. So there we have that. Next up are the fins. So insert fin into slot and you will repeat this four times. Here's all my parts here. So I'll go ahead and begin with these fins. So we'll go yellow fin here. Like I said, I am going to apply a little dot of glue. So it's not in the instructions, but I know the retaining system, that's what holds on 
this screw caps will hold the fins forward. So I'm just going to go with a little bit of this plastic cement glue, a little dot there, and I'm going to use that on each fin. So it's good. To, and I'm going to use a little Q-tip, just a little. Don't take a whole lot. So, and I'm putting it up near the top, like along this top piece here. Slide a little along there, and just a little down here. It only takes a little. And get it in that groove, because these fins have like grooves in them. Slide the fin in and slide forward. Because I want something, when the cap's not on, I don't want to have to, you know, I don't want them sliding around and coming off or anything like that. So, got that. So we'll do another one here, a little bit of glue. And a little bit down here, like right in that slot right there. Actually, I think I'm going to go with a black fin here. Let's see. For the name, I like to put my stuff where, alright, so the name will go on this side. So this will be the, another yellow fin. Another yellow fin here. And then the black fin will go here. So the black fin here. I hear somebody talking loudly. But yeah, so this will be a black fin. And the mini Bertha is coming together already. And like I said, these are fun. These are, SC sent me this, so I was like, okay, this is some new stuff coming. So I'll add a little glue. And this is the last of the fins right here. And there we go. So I'm just gonna take a look and make sure no excess glue is like coming out of anywhere it shouldn't be. So I'll take a little piece of towel, just keep something around you just to wipe up excess glue. I don't want extra glue everywhere. It's not too much on there to begin with, but I thought I saw a little squirt out, but yeah, just, yeah, you just use a little. So that's good. That's good there. All right, so that's all four fins. And again, they're showing the decals before they're showing the other stuff being done. I don't understand their logic on that, but I want to go ahead and tie on the nose cone. I think the decals would be last. I'm not sure if they're, I think that's, I don't know if that's a mistake. I don't know. I don't know. Tie the shot cord on. And then I'll use the ruler again. About three inches is about right here. I don't, no, I'm not going to use the ruler because I can't. I don't see it sitting right near me. Oh, here it is. So about three inches down. I'll make my little loop. They have you just tying it to the shock cord, but I do a little loop, and then I feed the shock cord through the loop. That's the way I do it. So we'll go here, like that. We'll lay this down, move this blue stuff out the way, and we'll finish with that. All right, so I'll feed shock cord. I just twist it, make like a little, just twist him a little bit. Feed through. And with that same twist, I'll just tie. Try not use it. Keep it close so you're not. Don't make a bow out of it. And you just want a little pull through like that. There we go. There we go. This one knot should do. On a shot core, one knot should do. One knot should do. So I'll put this cap on. Little cap, put that on there. And a decal, I forgot to show you the decal. There's a decal, which is coming up shortly. So now I will just fold this guy. Three folds in roll. I mean, I'm not flying right now, so it don't really matter, but. Three folds and then roll. Another cool, cool rocket. The Big Bertha is a classic, I'm sure, and I believe it was Vern Estes' favorite rocket. If I'm not mistaken, I think I heard that somewhere. I see a little, the body tube wasn't cut. I see a little dull blade happening. I'll have to clean that up. 
But there we have the Big Bertha so far. We'll go ahead and get the decals on. It's only pretty much, what, three decals? Four if you decide to do the SDs on the fin. So we're gonna go, here we go, and see where my placement's gonna be. All right, so we have two stripes and the name. I'm gonna start with the name. Start with the name, Mini Bertha. Mini Bertha. Oh, not peeling off good there. Wow, it didn't get cut all the way through. The cutter didn't go all the way through, so we have some. There we go. There we go. Uh, that sticky. Oh, my fingers. All right, so we're going to get this guy set up. Is he between the fins exactly or is it on one of the yellow fins? I think he's on one of the yellow fins, it looks like. Yeah. So it's not between, it's on one of the yellow fins, and I can see it. Yep. So we'll go. Getting placed about right there will be good. Boom and boom. Yeah, it's about that's about right. That's good enough for me. That good enough for you guys? Yeah? Okay, it's good enough for me too. Yeah, I like that. Alright. Go ahead and press mini Bertha. Yeah, I like that. So we'll go with that and then we'll take a look at the sheet. See where the colors go because they have stripes. So orange stripe in the center. Both are similar. So we'll do the top one first and then we'll do the bottom. And this decal is sticking to my hands. Like, get off of me. Let me go. Let me go. Okay. All right, so we'll start on this side. Leave a little space and down and around. And around and around we go. And perfect, got him lined up, there we go. All right, so that's good, looking good. And we will continue. And we have the next one. We'll go between the slot. So I'll put this one on back here about right there. And around. And around. And, ooh, a little misaligned, a little misaligned. Let me pull. All right, there we go, that's better. Uh, slightly misaligned, slightly. I could probably pull them up and fix it. Let's see, is this stick stuck too bad? Nah, it's stuck. I'm gonna leave it. Slightly misaligned, slightly. But I'm happy with it, it'll still fly. Still the mini Bertha. Nice, nice little rocket. A little retainer here, you gotta get your fingers in between here to unscrew this. But it's good. Got it done now the Alpha has a partner. Let's see how the engine fits in there. Nice. It's not jumping around too much. So that is cool. See, I got little stickies on me from that decal sheet. There we go. Yeah, motor sits in there pretty nice. And this one's 750 feet. 750 higher than the Alpha. That is cool right there. That is a nice little rocket. The Mini Bertha. Nice. So you can get these guys. Use my discount code. They should be on the website by the time you're watching this, I believe. So go ahead and um, IN underscore 321. Put some stuff in your cart. Add some stuff. Add this rocket. And um, get yourself a discount. Smile Rocks 321. And we will see you on another video probably find flying these possibly so that is all for today smile rocks 321